everyone, and welcome to the DHIS2 Event Fundamentals online course. My name is Shirojit Toto, and I am the lead content designer for this course. This course has been made in response to identifying a current learning gap in our training offerings between working with aggregate data and with what we refer to as tracker data. As you go through this course, you will see that there is an intermediate step referred to as events that we will discuss in detail as we go through our presentations and demonstrations. Events have a wide range of practical applicability, and we hope we will be able to demonstrate this in sufficient detail as we work through the various course material. I would like to take this opportunity now to walk you through the course in more detail. In this initial overview, we are going to walk through the course in two separate discussions. In part one, we will provide a general overview of the course, its prerequisites, and a quick review of some DHIS2 data models we will be referring to to better describe our course content. In part two, we will discuss the course purpose, objectives, and modules in more detail. We will also discuss the certification process and how to get help. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a web-based course that uses a number of different learning approaches to help you understand our course material. This includes video presentations, video demonstrations, interactive activities, hands-on assignments, and short quizzes. In order to take this course, there are two potential pathways that you may take. This includes completing the online DHIS2 Fundamentals Academy and receiving your certificate, or by demonstrating that you have the relevant prerequisite knowledge by taking our screening test. Please note that you must fulfill at least one of these criteria in order to take this course. Before diving into the course content, I want to review the data models that are supported in DHIS2 the aggregate and tracker data models, as I will be referring to them in this overview. The aggregate data model holds aggregated data in collections of data elements called data sets. The tracker model is quite different, as you will learn throughout this course, as it holds individual level data. This model can be a bit confusing, as it is actually divided into two components known as event programs and tracker programs. We will quickly review these terms to better understand the course outline. As the course unfolds, we will go over them in more detail. When referring to events or event programs, we are referring to a program that collects individual data. However, no information is collected that would allow you to track the individual, item, substance, or other entity over time. Events are particularly useful when granular data are needed and there are no requirements to track and perform individual follow-up. A couple of examples of event programs are surveys or surveillance line listings. Tracker programs, on the other hand, are programs where an entity of some kind is registered and tracked. For example, this entity could be a person. This involves registering various identifiers in the system. As if you are registering a person, for example, they can interact with different programs and services, thus creating a type of shared record for the services that that single individual interacts with. Tracker programs are more complex when compared to event programs and will not be the focus of this course. With this background out of the way, we will proceed to provide a much more detailed overview of the course content in the next section.